I'm always getting questions about what there is to do in Cleveland. So when I have family visit or when I have clients who are looking to move to the area, that's usually their first question. What is there to do in Cleveland? Well, my answer to that question is pretty easy. There is plenty to do here. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a place that I think is one of the must visit attractions in all of Cleveland. So stay tuned. Wesley Croft here with the Rooted Real Estate Group. And if you're interested in learning more about living, working, eating, sleeping, and yes, even things to do in the Cleveland area, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell so you're notified every time I do a video like this. We get phone calls, emails, text messages every day from people who are moving or relocating to the Cleveland area. And well, we absolutely love it. So if that's you and you're thinking of making a move, make sure to reach out to us, call, email, text. We've got your back when moving to the Cleveland area. Now, if you like being close to the water and living next to one of the Great Lakes, then you'll love this place that I'm at today. And where am I? This is Edgewater Park. It's nestled just to the west of downtown Cleveland, right on Lake Erie. It's actually one of the Cleveland Metro Park systems. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love the Metro Park system around this area. There's all sorts of things you can do here among the 147 acre park. For example, there's 9,000 feet of shoreline. Now during the summer, this is a popular destination for swimming or just hanging out on the beach working on your tan. Now if you do want a decent spot though, make sure you get here early. During the warm summer days, spots tend to be at a premium because this is such a popular location. Now the Metro Parks also recently completed the new Edgewater Beach House. So if you're looking to munch on some food while you sit in the sun, you can enjoy made to order food directly from the beach house. Now if you're into cold drinks, there's also a seasonal bar that's open as well so they can definitely take care of you on that front. So what happens if you get here to Edgewater Park to hang out for the day, but you realize you forgot your chair or your umbrella? Well, don't worry, they've got you covered there too at the Edgewater Nature Shop. So while you're there, you can rent chairs, cabanas, umbrellas, and even paddle boards uh, if you're itching to get onto the water. Now you can also grab snacks and even shirts and hats if that's your thing. Now, do you enjoy fishing? They can certainly accommodate that at Edgewater Park also. So this pier juts out 200 feet into Lake Erie and is perfect for fishing or just taking a peek at the Cleveland skyline. And don't worry about bait because again, they've got you covered on that at the concessions building just adjacent to the pier. Now, one of the major draws to Edgewater Park is the Edgewater Live concert series that are hosted here during the summer. Now, over 100,000 people visit the park each year for this concert series and happy hour. Every Thursday during the summer, you can enjoy food from some of the area's finest food trucks, uh, grab a drink from the Edgewater Beach House, and just hang out and unwind uh, after a long week while listening to some great local artists. And hey, don't just sit around in your lounge chair, right? Join up with some friends for some cornhole or volleyball, uh, but most importantly, just relax, right? It is happy hour after all. Now, if you prefer a quieter atmosphere, well, it is a metro park after all. Uh, you can always head to the far western end of the park. Uh, there you'll find one of the iconic Cleveland signs. So make sure to grab a pic with your favorite folks before you leave. On this side of the park, you'll find picnic area rentals and plenty of green space to walk your dogs or just enjoy a leisurely picnic with the people that you love. Speaking of dogs, did you know that Edgewater Park also has a dog beach? So if you're looking to get your favorite furry friend out for a nice run, uh, make sure to stop by and let them run wild. Uh, do you have a boat or a kayak? Yep, you can launch those from Edgewater Park as well. So all in all, there's a ton of things to do at Edgewater Park, but I've only just scratched the surface of things to do in Cleveland. So if you're interested in learning more about what it's like to live in the Cleveland area, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell so you'll be notified every time I do a video like this. Take care.